Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be showing you the best uh, macro for Solzarn G8.5. A uh, couple things I have to say before we start though. Number one, I did not make this, so I'm going to be crediting the guy who did make it in the description. It will be like the first link in the description. Number two, uh, this will only work on PC or on like computer, so mobile and console users won't be able to do this. And number three, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment your best aura. Uh, mine is the Flying Dutchman, but I want to know your guys's. So without further ado, uh, let's get on with the rest of the video. All right, number one, you're gonna go to first thing. I mean, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the second link in the description, um, and you're gonna go to, and it should take you to TimeTask.net, and you're gonna go over to the download button. You're gonna hit that, and then you are going to go to, uh, depending on think on your operating system, you want to download either the zip or exe. Uh, just make sure you get, uh, don't download the width editor, just get, like, the, whatever this is, so, like, 1.77 or whatever the highest one is for you. But I downloaded the EXE version, but yeah, download whatever one you need. Alright, and then once you download it, it should some, look something like this. So, first thing you want to do, though, is go into your preferences and set continuous playback to on. Also, make sure you just have playback speed at 1, but set continuous playback to on, and then... If you're going to be recording macros, you might want to change the recording hotkey. Uh, but for playback hotkey, I have it at F12 just because it's easier to hit one button instead of four. And I just think that F12 is better because I don't even have a print screen button. And I just, you know. Um, and then always on top, if you want to have that, you can. Uh, but yeah, that just means it'll show on top of Roblox. So if I like, yeah, I think you know what it means. <laughs> But, uh, alrighty, so you, um, next thing you could do is you're gonna need to download the macro. So, if you have VIP, there should be two separate links one that says VIP next to it, one that doesn't say VIP, says non VIP. So, depending on if you have VIP or not, you're gonna download the one respectively. Um, it should take you to a Google Drive. And once you get there, you're just gonna find, you know, find the macro. And then, like, whatever, you're just gonna download it. And once you have it downloaded, then you're going to go to here and you'd hit open. And depending on what f uh, folder you put it into, you're just going to scroll down in that folder and select the macro. Um, and then uh, the best way to get the like correct positioning is pretty much by leaving the server. And then rejoining the server. And then you just have to, once you load in. Uh, like, once you're right here, all you gotta do is just pretty much reset your character here in the middle. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. So just don't touch your mouse now. Or at least, don't move around. So don't go into first person. Don't hit shift lock. Because if you do, you'll mess up the camera angle. Or you'll mess up the positioning. And it just, yeah. I think actually, I think you could hit shift lock right now and be fine as long as you don't move the camera. You can move your character. You just, like, I could, I could do all this, but then just reset and be fine. So as long as you don't move your camera, you'll be fine. But yeah, so once you're good, then you're just going to hit the, um, whatever you set your playback button or the hotkey to. So mine, I have it at F8, so I'm just going to hit F8. And then as you can see, it will start going. So yeah, and it'll go to uh, the that spot. So I'll show you all five of the different spots. I think it's five, uh, but I'll show you all the spots that it takes you to. So after those two, reset to here. I'll just I'll just be quiet and let it play through. Alright, also, pretty sure it's not supposed to go there, which is kind of annoying, because for me, it'll, like, mess up sometimes, and it'll put me there, 
which def I don't think it's supposed to go there, because, you know, but it's weird, because sometimes when I do this, I get, like, two different results. I'll get either there or, like, a different position. So let's see if I get, if I get that different position on this one, I'll just cut straight to it. I'll just cut straight to the, like, other, the place you, I think you should end up. All right, I don't know why. Um, after doing it for three times, the macro just couldn't get me to the correct spot, and, like, the the third time, it was completely messed up. But what should happen, I don't know the exact way it does, because you can't really see, but I'm pretty sure what it's supposed to do is take you up, like, it's supposed to take you to right up to here, and then once you end up here, you're supposed to reset. Um, yeah, so that's where you're supposed to go. So if it doesn't work, it's fine. More than likely, it should end up working like eventually after you do it but for me that last one it just it, that last time or that last spot is like hit or miss sometimes i get it sometimes i don't but every other spot i always get 100 percent of the time it's really weird but yeah another thing i forgot to mention don't use an aura that gets you too high off the ground because i'm pretty sure certain auras if they get you too high instead of like going up against the wall like this you'll literally just go up over here which will completely mess up the macro so just make sure you use any i would just recommend using an aura that keeps you on the ground or like one that's kind of i just use glock i'd use glock for this or you know but astral i, I mean this would work but I know certain ones would get you too high off the ground, so. But yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye.